you're a fan of the History Channel, Mountain Men is a must-watch. We try to make as much money off of everything that we kill. It delves into essential wilderness survival skills, covering everything from fishing to shelter building. But what truly makes the show compelling are its vibrant characters, including Tom Orr. This seasoned mountain man who traded the rodeo arena for a rugged life has been a fixture since the show's beginning. Alongside his wife, Nancy, they navigate life in northwestern Montana's Yark River Valley, captivating viewers with their adventures across seasons. That is, until tragedy struck. Join us as we explore the heartbreaking tragedy of Tom Orr from Mountain Men. Mountain Men TV show. The Mountain Men TV show, a hit series on the History Channel, has captivated viewers with its raw portrayal of life in the wild. The show embarks on an adventurous journey with individuals who've decided modern comforts and technologies aren't for them. Instead, they decide to live off the grid in the majesty but harsh wilderness. Mountain Men profiles the lives of several individuals, but three main characters stand out. Eustace Conway, Tom Orr, and Marty Maiorotto. Eustace, residing in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina, seeks to impart ancient survival skills to his interns. Tom Orr, living near the Yark River in Montana, prepares year-round for the harsh seven-month winter, while Marty Maiorotto in Alaska battles extreme cold to gather wood for survival. These mountain men face real dangers like mudslides, falling trees, and wildlife encounters, illustrating a stark contrast to the conveniences of modern life many take for granted. The series not only showcases the challenges of living in remote locations, but also highlights the profound connection these individuals have with nature. Despite the dramatization of certain aspects for entertainment, the show offers an honest look into the rugged lifestyles of its characters. Except for Eustace Conway's portrayal, which has been criticized for being fictionalized, the series succeeds in depicting the genuine hardships and joys of wilderness living. It's a tribute to those who have chosen to follow their calling in the mountains, showcasing their expertise in trapping, hunting, and surviving with minimal impact on their environment. Mountain Men reveals the enduring spirit of those who have embraced the wilderness lifestyle, with each episode serving as a window into their unique and challenging world. It's a series that not only entertains, but also educates viewers on the importance of conservation and the values of simplicity and resilience. The Early Years of Tom Orr Tom Orr's journey from the rodeo arenas to the remote wilderness of Montana reads like a script for an adventure movie. Born into a family where horseback riding and the outdoors were not just hobbies, but a way of life, Tom was seemingly destined for a life filled with excitement and challenges. From a tender age, alongside his brother, under their father's tutelage, Tom mastered trick riding, an early sign of his thrill-seeking spirit. These childhood experiences in the countryside outside Rockford, Illinois, sowed the seeds for his future endeavors, instilling in him a love for adventure and a profound connection with the natural world. By the time he was 15, Tom's quest for adrenaline found a new outlet, rodeo. Hitchhiking to Ohio with just his bull rope and rigging bag, he embarked on a career that would see him become a champion bull rider and a celebrated figure in the rodeo world. His exploits in the International Rodeo Association during the 1960s, including consistent top 10 finishes, were the stuff of legend. Yet, it was a near-fatal encounter with a bull named Wooly Bugger in 1970 that marked the beginning of the end of his rodeo career. After being knocked unconscious and trampled, resulting in severe injuries, Tom's perspective on life and his priorities began to shift. It was a heartbreaking tragedy for Tom, no doubt, but he didn't let that hold him back in life. The incident with Wooly Bugger, as dramatic as it was, didn't deter Tom from the rodeo circuit immediately, but the seeds of change had been planted. 
His subsequent decision to retire in 1981 was not a defeat, but a transition to a new chapter that promised a different kind of thrill, the allure of the wild. Tom's early life is a testament to the shaping of his character, a blend of courage, resilience, and a deep-seated desire for freedom. These attributes would later define his life in the wilderness of Montana, where he, alongside his wife Nancy, would build a life that many could only dream of. From a young age, Tom Orr was not just surviving, but thriving on the edge, a trait that would carry him through the most challenging and rewarding times of his life in the mountains. Tom Orr's story before the wilderness was one of adventure, risk, and the relentless pursuit of a life less ordinary. It set the stage for his remarkable transition from rodeo star to legendary mountain man, whose legacy is not just about surviving the wild, but embracing and respecting it. Tom and Nancy Orr's life. The chapter of Tom Orr's life that began with Nancy is as rich and compelling as his rodeo days, marked by adventure, love, and a shared dream of a life intertwined with the rhythms of nature. Their trip to Montana in the late 1970s was a leap into the unknown, motivated by a desire to reject convention and embrace the wilderness. With all their belongings packed into an old pickup truck bought with muskrat pelts, Tom and Nancy embarked on a journey that would see them transform from wide-eyed adventurers into seasoned wilderness survivors. Montana offered the couple not just a backdrop for their new life, but a challenging canvas on which to paint their dreams. The early days were tough, with cold winters testing their resolve and making them question their decisions. Yet, it was Tom's encounter with the ancient art of brain tanning in an American Indian store in Billings that opened up a new world of possibilities. This chance discovery of the ancient method of softening and preserving animal hides using the animal's brain would not only enable them to make a living from the land, but also to connect with a community of like-minded individuals at the Black Powder Rendezvous, where Tom's skill as a craftsman would shine. Their life in the Yark River Valley is a testament to the power of perseverance, skill, and the deep bond they share. From brain tanning to trapping and hunting, Tom and Nancy carved out a life that many fantasize about, but few dare to pursue. It's a narrative of not just surviving the harsh realities of wilderness living, but thriving in them, creating a legacy that is as much about the spirit of the mountain man as it is about the enduring love and partnership of Tom and Nancy Orr. Their story is one of overcoming challenges, from health scares to the isolation and dangers inherent in their chosen lifestyle. Yet through it all, they remained unwavering in their commitment to each other and their way of life. Tom, now 81 years old, has left a legacy that is indelibly linked to his desire to pass on his knowledge and skills to the next generation, ensuring that the traditions and spirit of the mountain man endure. Tom and Nancy Orr's journey from a young couple with a dream to seasoned wilderness dwellers is a captivating saga of love, adventure, and the unbreakable human spirit. How can anyone not love them? Navigating health challenges. However, fans were very worried when Tom Orr, the stalwart of the Montana wilderness, momentarily stepped back from the spotlight in Mountain Men. Known for his rugged resilience and profound connection to the wild, Tom's life took a concerning turn when his health began to falter. The alarming revelation came during season 11, when Tom experienced significant difficulty breathing one night, a symptom serious enough to drive him and his wife, Nancy, to undertake an 80-mile, almost 130-kilometer journey to the nearest health clinic in Libby, Montana. It could have been a heartbreaking tragedy, that's for sure. Tom's admission of never facing health problems before this incident marked a poignant moment in the show, signaling a stark departure from his image as the indefatigable mountain man. The diagnosis was grave. His heart wasn't functioning as it should, with fluid accumulating in his lungs, leading to the immediate initiation of medication to strengthen his heart alongside the precautionary measure of wearing a heart rate monitor. 
Given the oar's remote living situation, the cardiologists also advised Tom to wear a defibrillator vest, a stark reminder of his vulnerability. This episode not only tested Tom's physical endurance, but also showcased the emotional resilience and deep bond between him and Nancy. As Tom faced this new reality, their lives, rhythm and dynamics underwent a significant shift. Stepping up to take on extra tasks, Nancy demonstrated her dedication to the couple's lifestyle, despite the added hurdles. Their journey to the clinic was not just about seeking medical advice, but also about confronting the possibility of life-altering decisions based on Tom's health prognosis. Fans' concern for Tom's health was palpable, reflecting the deep connection viewers feel with him and his way of life. Through this challenging time, Tom's spirit, supported by Nancy's unwavering strength, highlighted the essence of their decades-long partnership, a shared resilience and determination to overcome the odds no matter how daunting they may seem. Another reason. As Tom and Nancy have grown to be beloved figures on Mountain Men, they've encountered a unique dilemma that challenges their desire for solitude, the surge of fame impacting their privacy. In a conversation with the Kootenai Valley Times, Tom opened up about the unexpected consequences of their television success. Despite their remote living situation in the vast Kootenai National Forest, their home became a destination for an overwhelming number of visitors, with one summer seeing an influx of people, including newlyweds from Switzerland. While Tom has mixed feelings about this level of attention, he remains appreciative of his fans, acknowledging their importance to him. This connection with fans, while valued, has also led to moments of reflection for Tom, especially considering other personal reasons, such as health concerns, that nudged him towards retirement. The combination of seeking a quieter life and managing health issues ultimately influenced his decision to step back from the show. Contemplating the future, Tom Orr's reflections on retirement. Tom Orr has lived a life many can only dream of. However, even the most enduring spirits face the reality of time. Tom's reflections on retirement and the future hint at a profound understanding of life's seasons and the necessity of change. Having transitioned from a successful rodeo career to a life in the wilderness, Tom's adventures have been both varied and intense. His acknowledgement of being born 150 to 200 years too late encapsulates his deep affinity for a simpler, more connected way of living. Yet, with his and Nancy's advancing years and health considerations coming to the forefront, the reality of continuing their lifestyle in its current form is under scrutiny. Tom's musings about finding himself stretched out dead over the fleshing block reveal a man who approaches life with a blend of humor and stoicism. This acknowledgement of mortality and the limits of endurance is not a surrender, but a realistic appraisal of their situation. The thought of relocating to Florida, where they could enjoy a less demanding environment while still retaining a connection to the wild, represents a compromise between maintaining their independence and acknowledging their physical limitations. The idea of retirement for Tom is not about giving up, but about adapting to life's inevitable changes. It's a testament to his and Nancy's resilience and their ability to face the future with courage and grace. Adjusting to change, Tom and Nancy's ongoing journey Tom Orr's storied life in the remote Yark River Valley of Montana, showcased in the popular series Mountain Men, has captured the hearts of many. Recent seasons have hinted at potential changes looming on the horizon for Tom and his wife Nancy. Amidst concerns for Tom's health and the increasing lack of privacy due to the show's popularity, there have been whispers of relocation and a possible step back from the series. Despite the challenges, Tom and Nancy have continued to make appearances in Mountain Men, much to the relief of fans. In Season 11, viewers saw them preparing for the harsh winter ahead a testament to their enduring spirit. The couple's consideration of moving to Florida for warmer climates has sparked discussions among the fan base. The allure of a more forgiving environment is understandable, given Tom's recent health scares and the intense demands of their lifestyle. Their decision to remain in the Yark River Valley and participate in the show reflects their deep connection 
to the wilderness they call home. The issue of privacy has been a significant concern for Tom. The unexpected influx of fans and visitors to their secluded home has been overwhelming, despite Tom's appreciation for his fans and the interactions he enjoys. The balance between the demands of their lifestyle, health concerns, and the public's fascination with their lives presents a complex but compelling narrative. Life in the Yark River Valley Indeed, Tom and Nancy's great hardships in the Yark River Valley pique our interest. Nestled in a remote corner of Montana, the Yark River Valley is a place of stark beauty and extreme conditions, making survival a real test of endurance and skill. This region presents a unique set of challenges throughout the year, demanding a high degree of self-sufficiency from its residents. During the winter months, the Yark River Valley is enveloped in snow and temperatures plummet below freezing. The inhabitants face a relentless battle to stay warm and secure enough resources to last the season. Survival in this period is not just about enduring the cold, but also about meticulous preparation and the ability to make prudent decisions in the face of adversity. Tom and Nancy exemplify this through their strategic gathering of provisions and maintenance of their warmth, showcasing the depth of wisdom and courage necessary to navigate the harsh winter. With the arrival of summer, the landscape undergoes a dramatic transformation. The once frozen wilderness becomes lush and vibrant, but not without its own set of challenges. The thawing snow feeds the Yark River, turning it into a powerful and sometimes dangerous force. The presence of wildlife, emerging from hibernation, introduces another layer of complexity to daily life. This period of abundance requires vigilant planning and preparation, as Tom and Nancy anticipate the difficulties of the coming winter. Tom's experience, as chronicled on Mountain Men, illustrates a life filled with constant challenges, from severe weather conditions to the unpredictability of the wilderness. The absence of modern conveniences and emergency services underscores the importance of self-reliance and adaptability. It is in this isolation from contemporary life that Tom and Nancy find a profound connection to nature and a sense of fulfillment. Living off the grid in the Yark River Valley necessitates a comprehensive understanding of traditional skills and a readiness to face the uncertainties of the wild. Tom and Nancy's existence is a testament to the human spirit's ability to thrive in conditions that test physical and mental endurance. Their life in harmony with the natural world, despite its rigorous demands, offers a unique perspective on the value of simplicity and the strength found in self-sufficiency. Could you live in a place like this? Family ties and final moments on screen. Tom Orr was previously married to Janice Fraser, though the exact date when the couple got together is unknown. Tom's earlier marriage brought him two children, Keeley and Chad, with Keeley's tragic passing in 2015, marking a period of profound sorrow for the family. It was a heartbreaking tragedy for Tom. The loss of a child is an unimaginable grief, and for Tom, navigating this pain while living in the public eye added a complex layer to his and his family's healing process. Chad, Tom's son, embodies the spirit of resilience and continuation of the family lineage. Residing in Florida, Chad has carved out his own niche, operating a horse training center with his wife, Kim Burnett. This move not only shows the diverse interests and talents within the Orr family, but also signifies a branching out from the rugged wilderness to the equine fields of Ocala, aptly known as the horse capital of the world. The narrative of Tom's life on Mountain Men culminated in episodes that were as poignant as they were celebratory. In Tom's big day, viewers were treated to the celebration of Tom's birthday, a moment that highlighted his significance within the show and his reluctance to step away from a life that has brought him not just fame, but a deep sense of fulfillment. However, his absence in subsequent episodes fueled speculation about his future on the show. This uncertainty, along with the family's individual struggles, emphasizes how complicated life is, both in and out of the spotlight. 
Through it all, Tom's enduring spirit, mirrored in the resilience of his children and the legacy of his departed daughter, continues to inspire. His story is a testament to the strength found in family, the bittersweet journey of life, and the enduring bond that ties a father to his children, regardless of the paths they choose. Tom's brother. Although less famous than his brother Tom, Jack Orr has carved out his own niche in the world of mountain men. This older sibling of Tom has made occasional appearances on the show, each time leaving a memorable impression on viewers with his more reserved demeanor. Unlike Tom, who has become quite the familiar face on the series, Jack steps into the spotlight far less frequently, a choice that aligns with the show's theme of reclusiveness and minimal interaction with the broader world beyond the wilderness. Jack's presence on Mountain Men might be sporadic, but it's always significant. To date, he has appeared in over 20 episodes, quietly building a fan base that is appreciative of his unique personality and the intriguing dynamic he shares with his brother. Despite their shared reticence to embrace fame, both Jack and Tom have resonated with viewers, many of whom believe the brothers offer valuable life lessons through their traditional skills and down-to-earth living. Behind the scenes, Jack, along with Tom and Tom's wife, engage in a different kind of craftsmanship. They are the creative force behind Willow Bend Trading Post, a venture that allows them to share their handcrafted goods with fans and customers alike. Through the Trading Post's Facebook page, they offer an array of homemade knives and sheaths showcasing the high quality of their workmanship. Things sell out quickly, which shows how famous the Orr brothers are and how much fans trust the quality of the things they make. People can also peek into the Orr family's lives through their Facebook page, which posts news about their projects and travels, the financial fabric of Tom Orr. With an estimated net worth of around $200,000, around 186,200 euros, Tom's journey from tanning hides in the remote Montana wilderness to becoming a recognizable face on television is a narrative of hard-earned success. His expertise in crafting traditional leather goods such as moccasins, shirts, and pants has not only preserved a vanishing art, but has also become a lucrative venture. The craftsmanship imbued in each piece speaks volumes of his dedication and skill, qualities that have endeared him to fans and customers alike. Tom sells many of the goods he makes at Willow Bend Trading Post and often creates posts where they mention receiving goods from Tom. Merchandise sales have significantly boosted Tom's income with reports suggesting earnings of up to $4,000, €3,700. This surge in popularity, attributed to his role on Mountain Men, illustrates the symbiotic relationship between his traditional skills and modern media exposure. The show has provided a platform not only for sharing his way of life with a broader audience, but also for promoting his handmade products, thereby increasing his financial gains. This financial journey is intertwined with his personal life, where the wilderness is not just a backdrop for survival, but a foundation for a sustainable lifestyle. Living kilometers away from the nearest grocery store, Tom and his wife, Nancy, embody the essence of self-reliance, a principle that extends beyond their physical survival to financial management. Their commitment to a life that prioritizes sustainability over convenience reflects in their economic decisions as well, where every dollar earned is a testament to their labor and love for the natural world. What do you think of Tom Orr and his wife? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.